I'm so excited to get back to Canada. When I was a kid, we used to go camping in the Canadian Rockies. Just think, Canada and the U.S. share a border that's over 5,000 miles long. Yeah, that's something. The longest border between two countries in the world, right? <laughs> Winter here in Quebec can get pretty chilly. Well, even though Ottawa is the capital of Canada, Quebec City is a very popular place, even when it's this cold. And most of the people in Quebec have French ancestry, don't they? Anyhow, the chief said this is where Carmen Sandiego's transmission came from. Let's get moving to stay warm. And keep our eyes peeled for clues as to where that Moko Gong has been stashed. That's an interesting wolf statue over there. We should go check it out. The envelope's empty, but what do you suppose this word means? Didn't I read in your Acme profile that you're a linguistics expert? We all have our strengths, Hawkins. And I do try to pick up some language in my travels. Something tells me that's a Zulu word. I'll note it in my journal. But checking your database might help us find out where it's from. Oh yes, I remember. Carmen always used to talk about her concerns for the environment. Well, she's not very concerned about us, that's for sure. What is this? It sure is a strange note. It makes me think it's got something to do with Carmen, though. It's so near her plaque on the wolf statue. Good thinking, Jules. Let's hang on to it. Maybe it'll help us track down that fish gong. <laughs> this phone is out of order. Maybe it'll be fixed later. 80% of the people in Quebec have French ancestry. So, I guess that means I better check the translator in my database and brush up on my French. Did you know Quebec City is the only fortified city north of Mexico? As a matter of fact, I... Wait a minute. I hear a car coming. Well, hello, you two. Looks like my trail isn't the only thing that's gone cold. Don't you just love Quebec in the winter? You may as well give up, Acme agents, because you won't catch me. See you around. Hey, that was... that that was... Chief, we need a Type 44F radar track on a speeding vehicle in the lower part of Quebec City. It's Carmen San Diego. There's nothing on our tracking skill, Hawkins. Are you sure it was her? Sure, I'm sure. She's given us the slip again. Ugh. But I bet it won't be the last we see of Carmen. We need to keep on the trail of these stolen artifacts. I have a hunch that they'll lead us right to her. This is so weird. Did you know that South Africa has three capitals? Their system of government was set up by the British. But why three? Isn't one enough? Well, Cape Town is legislative, where they make laws. Pretoria is the administrative capital. And Bloemfontein is the judicial. You know, for their courts. Cape Town is unbelievable. I thought you'd like it here. That flat mountain over there must be Table Mountain, right? Yeah. For hundreds of years, it's been a landmark for sailors rounding the southern coast of Africa. The waterfront looks like a good place to sniff out some clues. The sort of place Carmen San Diego might hang out. The Victoria and Alfred waterfront here is a really popular destination for tourists and Cape Tonians alike. It has tons of shops and restaurants. Just the sort of place for a vile agent to disappear into the crowd. He'll call you at the phone booth near the Chateau Frontenac. 7 o'clock p.m. Be there. That's Carmen San Diego. I know it. We gotta break the door down. Hold on, Hawkins. You have no idea what you might be walking into. It might be a trap. Write down the message. But don't touch that door. We may hear something else important. Well, at least let's try to intercept that call. Chief, 
We'll be needing an Acme XM1 tracking device. Good thinking, Hawkins. The Acme headquarters in Cape Town can give you what you need. Head for the electronics store on the waterfront. Will do, Chief. We're... Wait a minute. What's that? It's Carmen. What did I tell you? Chief, we spotted her again. Chopper heading north from Cape Town waterfront. Roger that, Hawkins. We'll try and follow her on our scopes. Man, one of these days. What were you thinking, Jules? Did you want her to get away? Well, maybe it's just as well she did. I'm counting on her leading us to something a lot bigger than we can imagine. She's just playing games with us. I can't wait to see her safely behind bars. Unfortunately, Hawkins, it may not be any time soon. Her helicopter mysteriously disappeared from our radar somewhere north of Table Mountain. Keep following her trail. Finding that Moko Gong is critical to figuring out what Carmen San Diego is really up to. Maybe this message can help. Put it in your clue storage. I'm making a note of it in my journal. Look, a lecture on Shaka. He was king of the Zulus during the early 1800s, revolutionizing warfare in South Africa with his ideas on encircling the enemy. Wish he was still around. He could give us a few tips on how to encircle Carmen. According to my briefing, this is a secret Acme field office. The Acme XM1 call tracking device. No successful agent should ever be without one. I'll make room for this in my vest for sure. Look, at the top of the carousel, that symbol again. Carmen loves these kinds of puzzles. This has got to be something we need to complete, but I don't think we have all the pieces yet. Evidently, Table Mountain was a landmark throughout history for ships traveling around the Cape from the Atlantic to the Indian Oceans. Big place, Canada. Huge. Second biggest country in the world. The northern part of Canada is sparsely populated, but there are still many native peoples living there, like the Inuits. That gong must be a key to figuring out Carmen's master plan. Carmen's trail is getting colder by the minute. And I'm getting colder, too. What about you? Thanks for your concern, but this time I'm prepared. Perhaps you've heard of Acme Standard Issue Heated Long Johns? Okay. Agent Shadow Hawkins checking in. 6.59 p.m. and 41 seconds. Right on time. Special Acme tracking device XM1 is ready. Now, why doesn't that phone ring? Patience, partner. Just be sure to activate your device when it does ring. Okay, tracking device on. Vial X77Code33B. The Golden Lion will not walk. Instead, it will sail in tonight. I got it down, but what does it mean? It obviously must have been meant for some vile agent. Could sailing in mean a boat? But which harbor would it be sailing into? Well, the tracking device indicates that the call was placed from the banks of the Seine River. The database will help in locating the spot to travel to. The banks of the Seine? I've been there. It's where the painters and booksellers hang out. Let's get out of here before one of Carmen's henchmen shows up. Have you ever been to Paris before? N no. I always wanted to, though. What about you? Carmen introduced me to the city when I was a rookie. France is the biggest country in Western Europe. And you know what's amazing? 16% of the people of France live in Paris. Wow. So this is Paris. I can't believe that I've never visited the capital of France before. Yeah. Well, the locals pronounce it Paris. Carmen's conducted a lot of criminal activity here in the past. We need to be careful. Okay, Mademoiselle Carmen San Diego. If you're here, we'll track you down. 
I've got lots of great books here. This is really interesting. I didn't know Carmen had donated money to the Sorbonne, one of Europe's most important universities. She always was interested in ancient civilizations. I'm going to note this in my journal. Every time I see this design, there's some link to Carmen San Diego. Yeah, I'm starting to think you're right about that. What does this thing say? Hmm, a receipt. Something to do with a book. And La Dame Rouge. The Red Lady? Oh, we've got to find the shop this book came from. These would be wonderful places to see if I weren't so intent on catching Carmen to restore my standing in Acme once and for all. Bonjour. Lavender. Hmm, smells great. Used in perfume and even cooking. Uh-huh. I smell something, but it's not flowers. It's making me very hungry. Time to eat yet? We're looking for a book, La Dame Rouge. Do you have it? La Dame Rouge, you say? The Red Lady? Yes, yes, I have that book. I was to hold it until someone requested it by name. I have not even opened it. Here, take it. It's been hollowed out, and look, another animal. What do you think? I don't know. But with a title like La Dame Rouge, I have to think Carmen's involved somehow. Yeah, we'll keep this for sure. Let's go after him! He's guilty of something! Hold on, Hawkins. You have perfected the art of jumping to conclusions. Chief. Does Agme have any other agents in the area? We've got a suspect on the left bank of the Seine across from the Notre Dame Cathedral. We've got two agents nearby. I'll notify them immediately. Any idea as to who it may be? Not sure. He left a painting that we're going to check out. It may be a clue in finding that gong. A painting? So what? Let's get after that thief. Don't you see something familiar about it? There's that wheel design again. This painting doesn't look like a city in France. Where is this place? Hey, Jules, don't get discouraged. That's where what you call my toys come in handy. Clue analyzer ready. <coughs> it's a street in Jerusalem. Not bad for a toy, is it? Pretty impressive, rookie. I've always wanted to visit Israel. What an incredible history. The State of Israel was created in 1948. Before that, it had been called Palestine. The capital, Jerusalem, is a fascinating city with a real mix of old and new. So, back in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, Christian, Muslim, and Jewish people all consider this holy ground. I remember getting some excellent falafel last time I was here. Isn't that made from ground chickpeas? A burger would be more up my alley. Speaking of alleys, you know, it feels like these walls have eyes. Carmen could be here watching our every move. Let's find out. Attention, vile agent X-77. All pieces are secure. I've placed the lock device near Victoria and Alfred. Make sure the MoCo is hidden in security area Q3. Red Lady over and out. Score! Another vile message from the Carmen San Diego. It sounds like the Moco Gong is being stashed somewhere. If only we knew where Security Area Q3 was. We'll have to think like Carmen in order to follow her trail. Now, what did she mean by Victoria and Alfred? Those names sound familiar. I'd better note them in my journal. Wow, if these old walls could talk. No kidding. Thousands upon thousands of years of different peoples and cultures leaving their mark here. Egyptians, Romans, Arabs, Crusaders, Turks. Another one. 
that painting led us here. And you were actually right about the painter being guilty of something. That must mean you think we ought to hang on to this. I'll put it in my digital clue storage device. It's a thrill to be in such an ancient city. Ancient indeed. I heard the city recently celebrated its 3,000th birthday. But at the same time, modern Jerusalem is very cosmopolitan. So, I heard you pretty much aced your studies at the academy. That's not entirely true. I did get an A- in one course. All right, let's skip the tourist stuff and get to work. Did I tell you that Quebec City is the only fortified city north of Mexico? I believe you did. Would you please stop squirming? These little seats are just not comfortable. You should try yoga. All right, so we took a wrong turn. Let's get out of here. Did you know that Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago? Archipelago? What's that? Like the world's largest uh, unaccompanied singing group? I think you're thinking of a cappella. Are you kidding me? Don't forget, I graduated top of my class too, Jules. An archipelago is an island chain. You were scaring me there for a minute. Uh, don't they have Komodo dragons in the Republic of Indonesia? If I were the world's largest living reptile, there are prettier places to live on these islands than this cave. Hawkins, detective work isn't always glamorous. You've got to follow the clues wherever they lead. There's been vile activity detected near this cave, so we need to check it out. Anyhow, don't tell me you're concerned about a 10-foot lizard. Uh, no, I, I'm not scared. Yeah, right. Let's get to searching these caves. Another one. What do you think it means? I don't know. But the way Carmen works, we shouldn't discount anything we find. You know, Jules, I'm starting to think that you may be right about these things. We should look at all the clues in my clue storage so we can figure out our next step. I've read that South Africa was the richest nation in Africa, but I didn't realize that it produces one-third of the world's gold. Uh-huh. And did you know that the largest diamond ever found was discovered in South Africa? 3,106 carats. No wonder Carmen likes it here. Cape of Good Hope. Well, maybe there's hope of finding Carmen San Diego in South Africa. Cape Town is a key port city of South Africa. Keep alert. Carmen could sail right by us at any moment. Look, at the top of the carousel, that symbol again. Carmen loves these kinds of puzzles. This has got to be something we need to complete, but I don't think we have all the pieces yet. Can't wait to land. I hope heading to the city will help us catch Carmen. My intuition tells me we've gotten off track. Intuition? I wish they had an electronic device with intuition. Judging from what I see outside the plane, Israel is a great big desert. Well, it's a pretty dry place inland, but the land near the Mediterranean Sea is fertile. Almost half of Israel's food is grown on large communal farms called kibbutzim. This alleyway is sure off the beaten path. Almost too quiet. Just the sort of place to run into trouble. I agree. We just need to find what we're looking for before someone unpleasant turns up. Wow, if these old walls could talk. No kidding. Thousands upon thousands of years of different peoples and cultures.
It's a thrill to be in such an ancient city. Ancient indeed. I heard the city recently celebrated its 3,000th birthday. All this travel is kind of fun. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to catch Carmen. It would be nice to take a vacation, spend time gardening, and get to know my cat again. Oh well, we tried. Yep, now let's try another location. I hope they don't lose our luggage this time. Okay, what do we do now? Time to book a flight on our global... You think of France as one of the leaders in world wine production. But you know, it was the Romans who introduced grapes into France. Those Romans really got around. You remember the Colosseum in Rome. Well, in southern France, there are also Roman Colosseums and aqueducts. They did get around. Time to check out the Seine. I mean the scene. Trade roll. Very funny. So many famous French painters. What an inspiration. The Seine is not the longest river in France, but it flows right through the heart of Paris and eventually ends up at the English Channel. The Seine River passes under more than 30 bridges on its journey through Paris. Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in the world and is around 800 years old. Paris was founded more than 2,000 years ago. Now, more than 2 million people live here. Perfect place for a thief like Carmen Sandiego to pass unnoticed. The Eiffel Tower was the world's tallest structure when it was constructed for the 1889 Universal Exposition. 984 feet tall, and still the most famous landmark in Paris. There's a picture of Carmen and me nabbing a criminal in front of it that's hanging in the Acme office here in Paris. These would be wonderful places to see, if I weren't so intent on catching Carmen to restore my standing in Acme once and for all. Paris has tons of outdoor cafes. Think we'll see any famous writers penning the next masterpiece of literature? Maybe. Poets, artists, and others used to spend hours in these cafes writing and philosophizing. But nowadays, I think people are more interested in a different art form. World-famous French cuisine. Magnifique! I've got lots of great books here. This is really interesting. I didn't... Whoa! For a second there, I thought that person up there with the red coat and dark hair was Carmen Sandiego herself. The hat isn't a fedora. Yeah, I realize that now. I'm starting to feel like a native here. Great! Let's get to work. Le Chateau Frontenac. It's one of Quebec City's most famous landmarks. Yep. Named for the first French governor of the city. It was built in 1893 by the Canadian Pacific Railway. My... Did I tell you that Quebec City is the only fortified city north of Mexico? I believe you did. Thanks. Vast natural resources, like forestry, minerals, oil, and gas, keep Canada's economy going. Vast quantities of coffee would keep me going right now. I'm still getting used to the time change. This phone is out of order. Maybe it'll be fixed later. What does your cat do while you're jetting around the world on a case? Same thing as always. Sleeps, eats, and all the rest. I have a friend who takes care of him. My calcul- Isn't that acne vest uncomfortable to sleep in? I don't really think about it. I kind of think it makes me look like an action figure. Ready for action. That's definitely you. Well, here we are. As always, I'll keep track of the key information we find in my journal. Let's go!
The Victoria and Alfred waterfront here is a really popular... They're not here anymore. I knew we should have broken down that door when we had the chance. They're not here anymore. That's the world's largest gold field covering about 1,000 square miles. Incredible! Kruger National Park is a world-famous game reserve. I'd love to see it. Carmen was always talking about it. Okay, Chief. We found a yacht. The Golden Lion. Do you have any info on it? Registered to one Vincent Ian Lee Edwards. Nothing suspicious so far. Wait a minute. His initials. V-I-L-E. Vile. You're obviously on the right track. Be careful. Chief over and out. Okay, Hawkins. We better check this out quickly. Who knows when the owner of the boat will be back? Okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. ACME Procedure C4. Commencing clandestine search procedure. What is she up to? I don't know. But it was Carmen who led us to this boat. So I think we better hang on to it. You're right about that. Let's keep it. Hmm. This notebook records the latitude and longitude of everywhere this boat has been. Really? Where did it sail from? The Indonesian islands, just south of Thailand near the Indian Ocean. They used to be called the Dutch East Indies. Did you know there are more than 13,000 of them? Thank you, Hawkins. If this detective gig doesn't work out, you'd make a great tour guide. A key! This has got to be the key to where that Moko fish gong is hidden. You know, I've been looking into the history of the Moko. I guess those types of wooden fish gongs were struck to bring someone meditating back to full awareness, since it was believed that fish never slept. Interesting, huh? Well, speaking of never sleeping, it doesn't look like we're going to get any rest until we figure out what this key is for. So what was it like working with Carmen Sandiego? She's a genius. She's the one person in this world who knows everything about everything. If we find a clue, I'll store it in my vest for safekeeping. Right. Anything could be important for us. Hmm. I'll bet there's something interesting in here. But it's locked. Wonder where we might get a key. <laughs> There it is, and hey, we're right back where we started. Carmen Sandiego really did take us around in circles, and somehow I'm starting to think she's doing it on purpose. Yeah, and I'm starting to suspect that this is not a series of unique cases, but one big overarching plan of Carmen's. Jules, I've confirmed that your suspicions are right as usual. Every item you've recovered so far is missing a gem. Look closely at that gong, and I'll bet you'll notice a spot for a missing gym as well. Roger that, Chief. I'm sketching it right now. And there's a hollowed-out spot right in the center of the wheel design. I wonder why Carmen's keeping the gems. 
And what about the link between that explorer and the wheel design? Hang on, agents. I've just received word that yet another item's been stolen. This time it's a priceless Senate game table from ancient Egypt. The museum in Cairo is very concerned. A vile agent's been spotted hanging out near the Sphinx. You're on your way to Egypt. This may be your chance to finally start putting all the pieces together. Hmm, the ancient Egyptian game of Senate. That table's probably over 3,000 years old. We're on it, Chief. And this time, I'm not playing any merry-go-round games with Carmen Sandiego. I'm bringing her in. You're not going to be able to do it alone, Hawkins. It'll take teamwork to catch Carmen Sandiego. Remember, there's good reason I've paired the two of you together.